Hi there. Thank you so much for taking a moment to take a look at the Accept Card Payments uh, application from Chargent. So this is a connected action and it's intended to be used in Lightning Flow. And in this video, I intend to show you just how easy it is to take a payment inside of a Lightning Flow. I think you'll see it's pretty easy. Let's go ahead and take a look. So the first thing I want to say is that this can be built into any flow with Cloudflow Designer. You just need to install the package from the App Exchange. Um, once you've got it installed, then you can go ahead and start building your flow. Uh, you'll just, and we're going to take a look at kind of how to define that flow, and we're also going to take a look at what a basic, you know, very basic flow uh, looks like. Uh, but before we get started, we will need to get our Stripe API key. Um, so I'm going to jump over here onto stripe.com. I'm already logged into Stripe, and I just need to go to my developer and grab my API key. So I'm not going to reveal the test key. You know, that could be a, a potential kind of security issue. But um, what do we do once we have our key kind of into our into our clipboard there, uh, copied, if you will? I just need to go into my Visual Force pages. You'll see that we've included this Stripe API config. Uh, just click the little link. And if I had it in my uh, clipboard here, I could just dump it in. We'd be good to go. You'll note that it says update. Stripe API key, meaning that I've already done it in this org. So we're set there. Okay, let's take a quick look at what the flow is going to look like with just a very basic configuration. I'm going to start off for Stapleton here, lives in Nashville. And uh, let's go ahead and put in a, you know, a test credit card number. So you'll notice a couple of things. It already detected that it's uh, a Visa card. Uh, there's also a LUN check it just ran and realized that that was a bad credit card number. I had fat fingered it. You'd get similar things if I had put in a old expiry. It would say, hey, that is in the past. No good there. Uh, also, if somebody is not sure where that card security code is, uh, just click that little question mark. We'll tell them where it's at. Anyways, I hit charge. Looks like everything's ready to rock and roll. You know, I, like I said, this is a pretty basic, uh, just really quick um flow that i put together and so the word next there that you know doesn't really mean anything it's just part of i was a little too lazy to get rid of that in my flow all right what do we need to do here so i'm going to go in and, and click the edit button here and when i built this screen just kept it really simple just called it take card payment and all i really had to do was say pull in a lightning component and then define that lightning component so this lightning component is actually called accept card payments. Uh, you'll see I've, I've chosen one here. And then I had to set a couple of inputs. So in my case, I decided to set an attribute uh, as, a, as Chris Stapleton as a, um, you know, a, as the variable here, um, as the static variable. But you do not need, you know, you can use any flow functionality that you're used to. So I could have easily pulled that off a contact record if I was working in cases. Let's say maybe you're doing an RMA. Uh, flow, then you could have went to the case, found the contact on the case, and got the first name and last name off that case uh, very easily uh, just by using uh, some of the tools that are available uh, here inside the flow. I also set a charge amount. You could easily track that to any currency field inside the system. Now, if you're testing this, you know, the, the kind of main, you can do a lot of stuff, but the main thing you want to do is make sure you set an attribute. Uh, where you capture the response status like I've done here and and define that as a variable. As long as you do that, then you can just go ahead and create one more screen, connect your start screen to this screen, and have a display text. So, um, I'm sorry. Uh, yeah, no, that was actually right. You just want to set a display text. It caught me off guard the way it was highlighted there. And... Um, simply set the value of response status. And as long as you do that, you're going to get the result that you saw me uh, demo already once during this call. And uh, it's really that straightforward. So thanks for taking time to check out uh, this lightning flow with us today. Do go ahead and grab it off the App Exchange and use it. And also, while you're on the App Exchange, check out the other great tools from App Frontier, both our Chargent terminal as well as our Chargent. Uh, core application, which is just celebrating 10 years on the App Exchange next month. So uh, thanks so much for checking this out and uh, have a great day.